हेलो गाइड्स वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ शिपिंग फीचर एप फॉर शॉपिफाई मल्टी वेंटर बाय वेब को सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द डिफॉल्ट फ्लो एज वी नो दैट एडमिन मैनेजेस द शिपिंग प्राइसेस फ्रॉम शॉपिफाई एंड एंड दोज शिपिंग प्राइसेस विल बी विजिबल टू द कस्टमर एट द टाइम ऑफ द चेकआउट बट इफ एडमिन वांट्स देयर सेलर्स टू मैनेज देयर ओन शिपिंग प्राइसेस ऑन देयर ओन देन यू कैन यूज आवर ऐप सो लेट मी टेल यू दैट शिपिंग कैन बी डन इन थ्री टाइप्स लाइक द फर्स्ट वन इज द कंट्री वाइज सेकंड वन इज जोन वाइज थर्ड वन इज पोस्ट कोड वाइज and in this video particular i am going to talk about the post code wise shipping so let's move to the shopify store so guys this is our shopify store and before moving further i would like to tell you that uh, it is mandatory to have real time courier calculated shipping within your shopify store actually this requirement is defined by the shopify for your shopify store to retrieve the shipping rates from the third party sources and the another thing is that one zone must be created at shopify and so we need to go to the multi vendor app first from the app section so this is our multi vendor app and admin panel so to enable the feature app we need to go to the feature app section first and here is the shipping feature app you can enable and disable from this tab and after enable the shipping feature app you need to go to the configuration section under the marketplace shipping configuration so this is our marketplace shipping configuration section and you need to select the postcode wise shipping type from here after the selecting the shipping type you need to set the postcode length when you are choosing the postcode wise shipping it is mandatory to add postcode length so postcode wise shipping method is not compatible with other shipping methods provided in the marketplace so kindly disable all other shipping methods before using the postcode wise shipping then you need to click on the save changes once you configure the marketplace shipping configuration from here you need to go to the shipping method section as you can see on my screen i have already created some shipping method like a uh, webpool postcode 2 webpool postcode 3 and webpool 4 these are the shipping method that i have created already and if you want to create more or the create another shipping method then click on the add shipping method so you need to enter the shipping method name from here and click on the save button after clicking on the save button the shipping method will be listed here and you need to enable the shipping method from this action tab like you can disable and enable from here so once you create the shipping method you need to go to the postcode zone under the configuration section so once you click on the postcode zone you need to create a postcode from here add postcode zone okay so in this section you need to enter the postcode name and you can enable and disable this zone from here from this tab okay and now you need to select the method to add postcode zone there are two methods like uh, you can add with a csv you can add manually so if you choose a csv then first you need to download the postcode csv file you need to enter the details and after that you need to upload it and click on the validate if there is no error in the csv then you can submit it from here but if you select the manually you can enter the postcode manually here like i have added various postcode like uh, 1100 32201 and 301 and so on so once you are done with this like you need to add shipping in the postcode zone from here this tab 
so you need to click on the choose shipping method and you need to check or uncheck as per your requirement or as per your concern from here and click on the do it and click on the save button so this is all for the admin side now let's see how seller will configure the shipping feature app on their panel so guys this is our seller panel and this is our dashboard so seller need to go to the shipping method under the configuration section first now seller need to enable and disable the postcode shipping method from here if the seller enable then only he or she can configure it and now the seller need to add the ranges as you can see i have created some sample ranges from here and if you want to create add new ranges or to extend the ranges you can do it from here as i have selected the price type not the weight that side is selected already on the price so once you are done with the ranges you need to add the price in the ranges so again you need to click on the action tab and click on the postcode zone so for all the postcode zone that i have created that admin have created the three postcode zone and you need to add the price add or added price over the here see i have added prices in the ranges and you can select the method from this drop down option and if you want to add add or update shipping charges by csv you can click here so once you are done the price section you can click on the save so this is all about the seller side now move to the front end like how customer will check out so this is our front end and this is our cart i have already added one product into my cart for the checkout let's see how it is see let's click on the checkout tab like i have added a proper address and the code one is 201301 and it is in my list in my postcode list and it is showing the webpool postcode and the webpool postcode to shipping method and both are function are working once you click on the continue to payment it will redirect you to the payment section like you can enter the your card details over the here or you can go with a cash on delivery so guys this is all about the postcode wise shipping if you have any further query you can write us a mail over the support at the rate webpool.com and you can also connect with us over the live chat so if you like our video do give a thumbs up and subscribe our channel thank you so much